Hey everyone, Bill and Gary here for Gaming Tricks. How are you all doing? We hope you are well. We are having a beautiful day here in St. Kitts. We are in the Disney Fantasy. This is day number... Four? Four? If you include... Yeah. Day we, four. Include... We, we include the first day when you get on. Yeah. yeah. So we're in day yeah, four. four. We're, we're actually in St. Kitts. If you watch the other video, we did our tour of St. Kitts for excursion through Disney. Uh, we are back on the ship. Um, and we are just gonna do our day at day on the ship for the rest of yep. the and first stop after getting back from our excursion is trivia. Oh, trivia again. Movie quartz trivia. How much trivia do they have on these things? A lot. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Something I just uh, noticed. Uh, we are on a Halloween and the high seas cruise, and our last one was 2017. 20, so two years ago. Um, the one thing that I definitely like more about this cruise is on the previous one, they pretty much played the soundtrack to uh, Nightmare Before Christmas over and over and over and over and over again. And it was all constantly, this is Halloween, 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 this is Halloween. Warm myself out on that one. So thankfully, I don't think I've heard that once. Hey, so it's a good trip for me. This is how we go to a gills or trivia home away from home. How we do, hun? 22. 22. All right, we'll see how the results go here. 21 or more? Yay! 22 or more? Yay. You got 22? 22. Anyone else got 22 or more? Yeah, 22 is our winning score. Yay. Congratulations. Woo. Yay. Hot sunny day outside in St. Kitts. Woo, KJ. I got my replacement. I'll see you all in the tube tonight at 7.30. I'll see you. Disney Cruise Line. Yes, please. Woo. Yeah. 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 Carrie's happy now. I got she, my keychain. She got her keychain. So... That means we can stop playing trivia now, right? No. Uh, it's 80s music trivia tonight. Okay, that one I could do. Yeah. <laughs> 70s, oh boy. That was not our wheelhouse. No, but we did better than we thought. Yeah, but that's still not our wheelhouse. Right. That was the largest bunch of, <laughs> largest margin that we probably <laughs> ever lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, trivia. Yeah. Yeah, We're going yeah. back to the room. We're going to take a nap. Yeah. Because uh, we don't have anything. There's no more. Let me rephrase it. There's no more trivia. Oh, pirate stitch. Okay, we're gonna go get a lunch. No, we're stitch. not. We're not getting a lunch pirate stitch. We're taking a nap. We got nothing else on the docket until uh, dinner at 6:15, and yeah. it's now what five? Oh, 4:30. Woohoo! Yeah. We, we can take like a two-hour nap. Yeah. Or maybe an hour. Yeah. Yay! We're back in the Walt Disney Theater. Um, we had a lovely nap. We did. All this happened. Yeah. Um, and uh, it is also pirate night. It's pirate night, but we don't dress up for pirate night. Our? <laughs> uh, we are in the theater because it is uh, Max Winfrey is the uh, is the show tonight. Uh, we actually uh, saw him the other night, the first night yep. I think it was. Yep, he did an uh, adult only show. Yeah, in the uh, tube. Yep. And so now he's going to do a family show uh, in the theater. Um, he's a juggler comedian. He was on America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent and, and probably some other shows. But we also got ourselves some popcorn and what's the drink of the day? Drink of the day. It's nice and green. I think it's called Sunken Treasure. But I don't remember. I just asked for the drink of the day. Uh, it's showtime. We represent no lolly. Where was I going with my thoughts? I have no <laughs> idea. But we, with the Lollipop Guild, yeah. Wizard of Oz. We left the. Uh, next week we show, the guy is hilarious. Yes, yes, a very funny. Very talented juggler. Yeah, and uh, what'd you think of the show? It was hilarious. He, yeah. uh, I mean, you could tell he, you know, you think he's making mistakes, but you know, he's just doing it for a reaction out of the audience. Yeah, it's exactly. pretty funny. Exactly. He's fantastic. And guess where we are? We're in the tube playing or, trivia. Trivia, yeah. Or we're playing 80s trivia. Ooh, someplace that 80s music trivia. Yes, 80s music trivia. Somebody is addicted. And uh, 90s, 
5000s is more my wheelhouse, but I do decently well at 80s too. So. I know, we all, I ran up to the room to drop some things off, and whoo, it is a hike from forward to aft and four or five levels. The, the one downfall of having a GTY room is, you know, again, they assign you your room, so we are forward, and pretty much everything we do is aft. So not only do we have to go down all the decks, but then we also have to go to the complete opposite end of the ship yeah. because our room is as far forward as you can get. Because everything we do is in the aft. Uh, what? And on that note, what? we're going to play some trivia now. What? Thanks for watching. What? <laughs> it's been nice having you as a subscriber. How'd we do? It's better than I thought. We got 27. But I don't think it's enough to win. Well, we kind of got our butts handed to us, but yeah, it wasn't. a lot of teams that had yeah. over 30. Yeah. And the winning team had a perfect score. We still did better than uh, we expected, I guess. Oh, well, actually, I didn't know what to expect because... <laughs> well, you started playing your game, like, halfway through, right? Well, that's because I gave up. I don't know any of these songs. Yeah, nope, okay, yeah, I'm going to let Carrie do everything and just, yeah, let's just play the game. That's because I don't know any of these songs. So our Pirates Night, they have a special menu that um, has a bunch of seafood. Uh, there isn't seafood on the normal cruise. With Pirates Night, uh, we are in Animator's Palette. And um, with the special menu, they also put up on all the screens, they have uh, concept art for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean for the ride and for uh, a couple of the movies. How was your Pirates Night menu? It was actually better than you remember. previous. Yeah. Because well, it's a new menu from the last time we had uh, Pirate Night. Yeah. Quite often we get Apollo on Pirates Night, but they were so, so booked we didn't... Uh, uh, we weren't able to get in this time, and I'm kind of glad we didn't because those crab cakes were very good. In addition with Pirate Night, they have several uh, special events going on. Uh, and so we are actually going to go over to the D-Lounge. They have a pirate party of some sort. Oops. They have a pirate party of some sort we're going to go check out. Oh, the D-Lounge is all decked out for pirates. Got, oh, the, got the Pirates of the Caribbean music playing. <laughs> oh, I want to spin the wheel. I don't know what it is, but I want to spin it. when you hear the cannon for the first time and all treasure tossing must end when you hear the cannon for the second time so captain and first mate if you be ready say aye aye crew if you be ready say aye aye very good job <laughs> you can return to your seats i ain't seen nothing now, captain We checked out uh, a pirate's life. A pirate's life for me. A pirate's life for me. It's a little game. Um, it was one of the family games. So yeah, at the D lounge. All ages. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Uh, yeah. The only thing I didn't like was uh, they're supposed to spell pearl kind of like horse. Uh, every time you win, you get a letter. But uh, the problem thing that I didn't like was it made it feel like you're looking at the watch going, oh crap, we gotta hurry up. And then they just kind of like, you know, like, oh, the winner takes all of us around. Like, oh, okay. So, you know, it was fun to go to, but if you're timing, don't be staring at your watch. They're gonna be mindful of it. You gotta remember they're gonna be mindful so that you gotta get to the, you wanna go to the fireworks. And so that's where we're headed. We're going up to the pirate show. Uh, we're gonna go up to deck 12 to look down because it's gonna be on deck 11. And uh, that's usually a fun show, isn't it? Yes. Very fun. Oh, and this is my, my least favorite part of the ship. Walking through these hallways. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey. Oh, hey. So we're at the pirate party. Someone's getting tired. Yes. So I made it out to the Buccaneer Blast. And pirate party. And pirate party. So what this is, on pirate night, they have a stage show. Yep. That thing. 
and what they <laughs> and they have uh, Captain Hook and Pirate Mickey and uh, whoever guest comes out here and they're gonna have a stage show and then they're gonna have fireworks uh, the interesting thing about uh, Disney is are they still the only ones? No, they're not the only ones, but they were the first ones to have fireworks at sea. Okay. They were the first one to get fireworks at sea, and there's a special permit they had to get to do that. And they also carry the maximum amount of fireworks that they will allow on cruise ships, correct? Sure. Okay, I that's what I, I didn't know that. <laughs> that's what I thought they had said when we had done some tours before. Okay. So, um, actually, we kind of got some good seats. This yeah. cruise does not have a lot of families. Yeah. No. Uh, there's a lot of... Um, a lot of adults. A lot of adults that are Hashtag sans kids. Hashtag childless millennials. <laughs> there are a I'm lot of... I'm going to go steal someone's pretzel now. Okay. <laughs> if you get that reference, give us a like. Yeah. Uh, and share. Yeah. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> and maybe leave a comment. No, don't leave a comment. Well, you can leave a comment. <laughs> if you get it... Anyway. So, <laughs> we're going to... We actually got some pretty good seats. We're up here in the back, um, so it's a little bit high, and um, yeah. as I said, not a lot of kids. So um, we're looking forward to this. I don't think we ever watched the pirate show on the this level before. No, I think so. we always go up to 12, so this is the first time we're actually way on the main level for it. Yeah. So Hopefully we actually can see something once the show starts. Yeah. Anyway, looking forward to this. Yes. We don't dress up for Pirate Night, but it's no. still kind of a fun little uh, thing to witness. Yes. Avast, all ye bilge rats, scallywags, and buccaneers. Here come seeking adventure and salty old pirates, eh? Well, you come to the proper place. Tonight, you be traveling in mysterious waters. Waters once owned by tales of plenty of pirates and the ones who haunted them. Some say when the night is right and the sea is willing, these scoundrels will once again sail the seas. <laughs> Beeline to Cabanas. 
Oh, pirate knife buffet. Okay. Always wash hands. Usually they got taco type stuff, toppings, big potatoes, cheese. We got uh, rice and beans, kiwan, chicken drumsticks, tortilla wraps, beef tortilla wraps, or chicken and beef tortilla wraps. got to Honey glazed ham, carved. Over here they got some fresh fruit, cut and whole. Looks like they got some bread. And it looks like maybe we're starting to repeat here. Quinoa, turkey drumstick. This one section they got some desserts. Looks like uh, tropical fruit tartare, pecan and banana chips, slices. Sweet potato pie. Oh, sweet potato pie. I haven't had that in a while. Some of the same desserts over here. Fruit cup. More desserts over here. And it's like toppings for uh, ice cream, possibly. And crepes. And it looks, oh, those are toppings. There are toppings for crepes. Okay. And you get marshmallows and pineapple. Orange slices. And then after the bar in the middle, everything repeats on the other side. Again, mirror image. That's usually what they do in cabanas. To explain how the uh, about the dinner about the pirate buffet. So they have a buffet on pirate night after the fireworks in cabanas. And you just come to it. They have food if you eat it, and yeah, yeah. that's about it. Especially items that they don't normally have, like uh, turkey legs, especially desserts, right? Yeah, and like nachos, and it's kind of all more like snacky stuff. Don't expect to really necessarily get like a full meal, but it was, it is kind of odd. They had ham this time around, so. Yeah, they were carving ham. And they have crepes. Ooh, what a day. Yep. Oh, we did a lot of walking. Yep. And everything, but uh, tonight with Pirates Night, uh, it was kind of a fun evening. Yes. Uh, Again, we had the uh, the show, uh, the juggler Max, Max Winfrey. Max Winfrey. Yep. And Not then, related to Oprah. And then uh, <laughs> pirate menu at uh, Animated Palette, and it uh, had pirate theme. The waiter waiter staff was uh, dressed up in pirate outfits, and uh, they had and the nice thing with uh, Animated Palette was they had the photos. Uh, in the screens for anime for uh, conception art for Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Yeah, if you're lucky enough to do pirates and animators, it's really cool because they kind of use all those screens to fly. The other dining rooms can't do that, so it's kind of fun being in there, being in animators for pirates because you almost got kind of a little show along with it. Yeah, it's kind of cool to look at those things. For dinner, we had. Uh, I had the uh, shrimp. I think it was lime marinated shrimp, even though I didn't taste any lime. It was it was okay. Um, I prefer the shrimp and lobster in Royal Court. And I had the crab cake. It was great. It was very uh, full of meat and not very much filler. I thought it was very well done. Yeah, I was disappointed I should have gotten the crab cake. It, it tasted really good. And we both had the mango chilled soup. Yep. I liked it because I'm a fan of fruit soups, but... I was not a big fan. It kind of <laughs> tasted like uh, melted ice cream to me. Uh, but then for dinner, Carrie had... I did the Jack's Treasure pasta, which was was pasta with shrimps and scallops, and it was mixed in like a tomato sauce with uh, tomatoes and spinach. And it was it was very good. It was filling. I mean, really, by the time I got through the, the shrimp and the scallops, I, didn't, I was kind of full and really didn't have time for pasta. And then I had the beef tenderloin. I thought it was uh, very good. Um, it was a, a good medium rare, um, but I don't know. It, it, it kind of just kind of uh, blended in with uh, other pieces of beef that I've had that wasn't really outstanding, <laughs> but was still good. And then uh, we went to that Pirates, uh, what was it called? Uh, mm, pirates Life for Me? Yeah, that was a yeah. fun little game thing. And then we hit the top deck, deck 11, to watch the show. And uh, Jack Sparrow made an appearance. They used to be Pirates in the Caribbean, but it's a new show. 
uh, what was it called? Buccaneer. Buccaneer Blast. Buc Buccaneer Bonsai. Something like that. Who knows? Buccaneer Blast. Buccaneer. Yeah. I'm Buccaneer sure somebody Blast. knows. It's on the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, it was just a fun. And then the uh, the pirate buffet. Yep. And so not a not a huge selection there, but no. um, you know it's it was still kind of fun. Different, different enough foods. to enough to have a little bit of a snack and then on to bed. Yeah. Bed. So that's gonna do it for our pirate night, yep. which is day four, four. Uh, and that was Saint Kitts Day. You watch our Saint Kit video for our excursion, yep. um, which is gonna be separate from this. But anyway. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, we so enjoy it so much that you uh, that we hope that you enjoy these videos and we enjoy that you watch them. But uh, I am Bill. I am Gary. And you're watching KB Trex. Thanks for watching. We hope you join the next one. Have a good night. Bye. Right, good luck and have fun. Good night. <laughs>